What's up everybody, AJ here back again with another video. So for from what I understand, Koei Tecmo's um, Japanese official channel has a um, live stream at TGS uh, Tokyo Game Show 2024 back in like back in eight days ago. So and apparently there's new um, new footage of um, Atelier Yumiya and Atelier Brazil Vienna from what I understand. So I'll be checking out this um, this live uh, footage of uh, of the Tokyo of Koei Tecmo's um, live stream from. So without further ado, let's check out uh, this video and see. Hopefully they, they have some new gameplay footage of Atelier Vimeo because as time goes by, I'm I'm kind of uh, getting more and more curious about how how the game is going to be. To the extent uh, that I kind of want to check out the game as a matter of fact. Anyhow, without further ado, let's check out this um, live footage from Koei Tecmo's Japanese channel. え、東京ゲームショー <笑> Apparently, the, is the, apparently the dialogue option is the same way as how um, Atelier Riser works where you can you have the autoplay option by pressing the square button for my understand. Okay, so this time is um they added the option of um, dialogue option just like how Oyo's game has just like such as like in Genshin Impact, uh, Monkai Star Rail, and uh, freaking Zelda Zone Zero. Because Ryza, you, what you because right in Atelier in the old Atelier Ryza games, they do not have the uh, the dialogue. They do not give you the dialogue option. You just let the the, the dialogue run by itself, as it, as though you're what you're really really watching uh, an anime. When they're having the, the con when they're having the conversation. I just hope they maintain the option where you can um you get to choose the option to pass forward or let the dialogue run by itself, which is the autoplay. Or they give you the option to skip the entire dialogue. And as a matter of fact, right, there's one option that I would love them to add. Is when when the when when you're playing the dialogue manually, you can choose the height the user interface. In the case you all wanna take a screenshot of that particular scene, so I really hope that uh, this game adds that adds that feature as the feature where you can hide the user interface because in the Atelier Ryza trilogy, they do not have the option. To hide the uh, the user interface while the do the dialogue is is being played. So I hope in Atelier Yumia they add that uh, the option where you can hide the, the the user interface, just like how they just like how Hoivers did it in Honkai Star Rail. Okay, so apparently these are the uh, the land. The landmark for Atelier Ryza. So, battle, battle on the top screen, search on the left screen, synthesis on the, the right screen. Yeah, so, it's, it's practically the same concept as how um, Atelier Ryza is. Okay, we have more, more footage. Where did they get to me? What the hell? Okay, so that's entirely different. You can shoot enemies without going into battle. え、射撃などのアクションを駆使した冒険を… 
And from the look of things, right, the the method of material gathering is entirely different. Where you just shoot, you just shoot at the you just shoot at the materials. You you, you have successfully gathered them. You have successfully gathered them. Or you can do it the old school way. You just grab them by hand, just like how it is in Atelier Riza. I hope release. Does that tell? Does that unlock a, a teleport weapon? Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me let me rewind back a few. Uh, few. Okay. I'm looking at the minimap on the on the at the bottom right of the freaking screen. Keep an eye on on the on the gray color um, icon on the minimap. As Yumiya heads over to this um, this teleport waypoint right over here. And now that blue color box, uh, 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 it's turned into a blue color box. So long story short, that kai that statue right over there is basically a teleport waypoint. S just um, similar as to how um, Genshin works, where you head over to one uh, teleport waypoint, you unlock them, you, are, you can you can perform a fa fast travel. So basically, Atelier Yum, safe to assume that Atelier Yumiya has fast travel, just like in Atelier Ryza. Okay, more, more footage. This is uh, the synthesis section. Synthesis begin. Okay, they, 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 they add the option of um, auto synthesis, just like in Atelier ライザー。Oh, she's synthesizing? Animation looks cool though, I would say this. Oh, she was synthesizing a weapon. Okay. So, my question is... Because in the old Atelier, right? In the Atelier Reza trilogy, you, yes, you can synthesize weapons. But my question is... How does one get better weapons? I hope it's the same way as in um, Atelier Riser 2 and not in Atelier Riser 3 where you have to unlock the, the recipe through the Alchemy Spirit Tree which I didn't really like to be very honest. I prefer the, uh, the, the old... How, how it works in Atelier Riser 2 where okay you perform a synthesis at the very first um, weapon and then once you reach the recipe you unlock the second uh, the second weapon and then for the second weapon you unlock the third one and so forth and so forth I kind of prefer that method to be very honest okay my apologies can, can we, uh, let me rewind this all the way back to the the beginning part of the Okay, let's just start from over here. Okay. How do you switch characters? Okay. Yeah, this is very action oriented. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I see the switch on the bottom right screen. Okay, this is very... 
Action oriented. The battle is very action oriented. He doesn't even feel like. Is that her Ogi? That looks like a fatal drive. Cool. Cool. Fatal Drive is essentially the character's ultimate or limit break, whichever you want to call it. More footage. Oh, <laughs> the, the faces the Puni makes though. <laughs> you can triple jump. Okay. Repair box, treasure boxes. Oh dear. Okay, you can. And yes, um, in Italy, you get you know you can perform a simple synthesis um, outside of the atelier. And I believe this is the uh, the atelier. You can customize the atelier as how you see fit. このですね、とても自由度が高い。ハウジングシステムになっているので、それぞれですね、皆さん楽しんでいただけるようなものになっているんじゃないかなと思っています。すごい。え、家具とかもあるんですか。そうですね。はい、家具とかも入ってきるん
bigger and from the look of the how the combat is right the combat is no longer turn based i see what you did i see what you guys are doing i see what you guys are doing you're showing you're showing you just at sets any anyway back to the conversation um i really wish that Actually, Yumiya has a, de has a gameplay demo. But unfortunately, so far, from what I understand, Koei take more games. Do they do not release a, a game a gameplay demo for, for for all of their games? I mean, as a matter of fact, right? Even the Atelier Reza trilogy, they they don't they don't have a, a gameplay demo, which is kind of unfortunate. Because I really want to try out the game. I really do. The world exploration looks good. And the combat is... They decided to stray away from being turn-based and decided to go um, real-time combat where they go for a more um, action hack and slash is RPG from what from, from I understand. Because, so yeah, I really want to check out the game. I really do. But unfortunately, we, we won't get that. We won't we won't be getting a demo from Koei, from any Koei Tecmo game, which is kind of unfortunate. Kinda, it's kind of unfortunate. I just and as a matter of fact, right? I really hope Atelier Yumiya fixes the, the the minus point that the Atelier Raiza trilogy has. Where Atelier Raiza it's, pop, it's popular in Japan, from my understand. But the story, it's unmemorable. It's kind of niche. And, it, as a, and speaking of uh, memorable moment, moments, right? The Atelier Raiza trilogy doesn't really have any memorable moments unlike Final Fantasy which is unfortunate so I'm really hoping that I think Yumiya has a very inter interesting story at the, to say the least and I hope it's as memorable it has memorable moments up to the level of at least Final Fantasy level uh, memorable moments at the very least well, that's about it for now. If you guys enjoyed this video so far, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on Atelier Yumiya, the character designs, the, the gameplay that you guys um, have watched earlier on. And as I mentioned earlier, I really wish that, um, that this game has a demo of some kind because as time goes by, right, I this game has slowly has caught my interest to say the least. But unfortunately like as i mentioned earlier koei Tecmo games in general they do not release um a get a gameplay demo of some kind in all of their games so what i think i'll do is i think i'll just read for re reviews uh, by the time this game will be out by uh, march 21st of um, 2025 in the meantime i think i'll definitely will continue keeping an eye on on this game uh, because i'm really curious um, how this game is going to turn out using the fact that um i I did check out the the Atelier Riser trilogy, and the Atelier Riser trilogy is one of my favorite RPG game of all time. Not the best, but my favorite RPG game of all time, mind you. So I'm I'm genuinely curious how how this game is going to turn out. So I'll definitely will be I will definitely continue keeping an eye out on this Atelier Yumia without a shadow doubt. Anyway, until then, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. It's here. Peace out.